Climate change is now one of the major global issues with unprecedented effects on our planet. In Madagascar, agriculture is extremely sensitive to climate variability, with serious consequences on agricultural yields, which threatens the livelihoods of vulnerable populations. In the Midwest, for example, farmers face a reduction in annual rainfall, rising temperatures, but also a decrease in water reserves. The southeastern region is affected by both strong trade winds and the frequent passage of cyclones. This is one of the regions most affected by increasingly prevalent floods and cyclones. The South is one of the most sensitive regions to global warming. During the last 20 years, the Android region has been hit by severe recurrent drought. Thus, the FAO, in collaboration with partner members of the National Conservation Agricultural Task Force, have developed climate-smart agricultural techniques in various agroecological areas of Madagascar. These techniques aim to orient agriculture towards a model of agricultural production that adapts to the climate. Pour répondre aux impacts des changements climatiques, la FAO a adopté depuis quelques années une approche qui essaie de climate smart agriculture, qui est en fait l'agriculture climato intelligente. The climate smart agricultural encompasses several techniques, including conservation agriculture, agroforestry, the use of erosion control plants, reforestation, SRI rice cultivation techniques the integration of livestock to agriculture and many other agricultural practices. In each area, the dissemination of these techniques adopted by small producers is done through theoretical and practical training. Training sessions are provided by extension agents of FAO partners and are held on the demonstration plots installed in each major agroecological area of Madagascar. However, small producers face several constraints in adopting and duplication of different techniques. It is not uncommon to see a difference in production between the demonstration plots and plots of adoption. The two is that the meat is not very good. 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 The meat is not very Besides these difficulties, support and training of smallholder farmers will be strengthened so they can fully assimilate all the techniques of climate smart agriculture. Now, Manakinareo and Anituni is at Sarang, eh? Missy T. Fufang, Missy Zetuko Fitovang away, Zauti Tramba Hanwangazil, Teakunahufa, eh? No Aroamaku. Eh? Zahle for Mambule Vomte, Zahopambule, Fatsi Mafatas, the Anfale, the Atakurasur, Rombule was. After the practical training, 
Each farmer was inspired to adopt these new techniques implemented and proposed on demonstration plots and reproduce them on their own plots of adoption. The FAO's partnership with various public and private institutions has enabled the promotion of new agricultural techniques that truly meet the needs of smallholder farmers. En Madagascar, nous avons pu travailler dans quelques zones pilotes et l'objectif justement c'est de pouvoir promouvoir ces, ces techniques là dans l'ensemble du territoire national. In conclusion, in the current context of climate change, a more productive and resilient agriculture requires a better management of natural resources such as land, water and energy resources. However, to have significant benefits to smallholder farmers, the efforts and support should be concentrated and further strengthened at the adoption sites. This requires increased collaboration and synergy between all stakeholders at different levels.